exposed to dryness and winds which would carry the dust throughout the neighborhood. I'm sorry. Okay. And Mr. Wade, Wade, you have two minutes. Oh, you want me to go first before I heard anything? They have somebody here to address. Okay. You want to all right, so my name is Rob Sherman. I am the District 1 representative that includes Sunshine Canyon Landfill. I'm also the general manager for Sunshine Canyon Landfill. And so when I saw this on the agenda, I thought, well, I can share some information. Um, I am, I'm actually, I'm going to ask um, Sid to pass out. I've got, a, I've got a presentation that was given to the, by the L.A. County Department of um, Public Works. And it's by Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer's in the room with us here. I've invited him to join us. But, and I'll stand just so you can hear me because a little bit of outside noise. Uh, the, the proposal is, if I, if I read it correctly, by the Plum Committee, was to send a letter opposing the sedimentation that's coming in as proposed. Devil Gate is a reservoir that collects water as it comes through. And as the water's coming off the mountains and the hills, and I'm giving you a layman's terms of this, as the water's coming off the hills and comes in the reservoir, it, it builds up sediment. Now this sediment, what the sediment is, is just the soil that's coming off the hills. And so what I'm passing out is a fairly technical document. But for the board members, and this is my message is, is to the community, but also the board members, I want to make sure whatever we do as a board that it's accurate. I don't believe calling what's being proposed to come into Sunshine Canyon as unhealthy is accurate. Um, as Sid's finished and wrapping it up, let me just flip through why I'm saying this. They do borings. They go and they test the soil before they send it anywhere. And they took four borings. This on the inside cover, second page here. They compared the screenings to the various thresholds. And then the, it's page three, page two, if you not count that, but it says what they resulted, the test results showed that it was below the soil that they're talking about, the sediment, below all regulatory thresholds. Pesticides, semi-volatile, uh, um, all of these fancy words, it says basically it's, it's dirt and soil. Now there was one that they said that it actually was exceeding what the thresholds were, and that was an arsenic. But the problem is California's background in California exceeds. It's just naturally occurring. But I'll flip to the second page, and I'll give you a quick primer on how to, how to read this, this detail here, okay? So if you look at the top, it gives you the different chemicals or metals or you know, items that are in the sediment. Antinomy, barium, caddy, all big names. So these are all big names that are in the dirt that you have in your backyard and the dirt we have in our hills. It's just, it is. And then it says, what was the minimum result? So in this case, we'll start with the first one, antinomy. antinomy. The minimum was zero, the max was three, and the average is 1.28. So that's how you read the top. If you go down to the bottom, it says, well, what are the threshold? The Bureau of Land Management for a camper says you can't have anything more than 50. All right, so we're at 1.28, so we're not really too far. Uh, if you were a, a worker, it's 100. If you're a resident, it's three. If you're a and so that's how you read it. And if you flip to the next page, it talks about copper, lead, nickel, silver, in each case. So copper was, we found the, the sediment results, I say we, it's the county's result. I, it's not my soil, it's not Sunshine's Canyon soil but it is what the county has asked to bring in. And the, our motion as a board says it's not healthy. And so it's eight versus 51. And you look at the, the results down at the lot, we're not even close to any of these. So let me talk a little bit about um, some of the concerns. I know Mr. Hunter, he and I have been at multiple meetings and Ken has been there making a lot of these presentations. Let me tell you a little about our, our operation at Sunshine Canyon Landfill. We put dirt over the trash every day. So that's what we do. We put nine inches of dirt over the trash every day. But we just don't create it. We, we dig it up. So every day, I have a borrow area that we have people going all day long, usually three or four different pieces of equipment called scrapers. So we dig that dirt up all day long, take it a mile to, the, to the, where the working face is, where the trash is, and we dump it out. 
And so there's concerns, what happens with the dust? What happens with the dust? From my perspective, we're gonna have less dust, frankly. Because right now, if we get sediment that comes in and it goes right to my working face, then I'm gonna be <coughs> digging up duck dust in my own backyard. I'm still dumping the same amount of dirt every day because I only need so much dirt to cover the working face. So I've got to, I've got to get that dirt every day. Well, Devil's Gate has excess. They've got to get the sediment out so the reservoirs have the capacity to handle the future rain. And so, you know, I know we're going to vote in a few minutes and we'll have a time to have some open questions, but I don't mind as a board, you know, I'm, I'm going to vote what I, as a community member and also I know who I represent. But if we say that this is a health issue, I'm going to tell you, the results say no, it's dirt and sediment coming off California hills right down the road from us. And so that's, that was my heartburn. I, I had a little heartburn with that. So any questions for me or anybody else? Uh, two questions. One is, what are the controls to make sure they don't bring you more sediment than you need? So it's stacked up, and with the winds we had, it starts becoming a, a wind boring uh, nuisance. How, how do you make sure that uh, you're going to limit them to uh, replacing your scraping operation and not generate a surplus of dirt that's going to become we use, that's, that's a great question, Bill. We use massive amounts of dirt every day. So it's a 200 by 200 foot square that we do every day, and we've got to have a minimum of nine inches. Usually I put about 12 inches on it because you don't want to be in violation of the, um, the regulation. And then down the slopes, we are, we are putting, if we leave an area or if we're going to a different area of the, where the working face is, I've got to put intermediate soil on. So you've got two and three feet of dirt. And so I, I'm not going to be stockpiling massive amounts. I'm going to be using it as it goes. What I will avoid having to do is dig out a back hill 10 hours a day of scraping through our own dirt. Right, I understand that, but you don't have anything in, in this agreement that you're trying to grow up with them that says no more than X a day. I mean, they well, they are limited. They have 80%, I mean, they have this massive amount. I'm not sure the exact amounts, but they're only bringing us a small portion. Uh, they say 20% of it, 2,300 tons a day, 23, I forget what it is. Yeah, yeah maybe a in that less. area, and so I'll, I'm, I'm going to. I use so much dirt every day in covering the soil that I'm not going to have any trouble using this dirt. Well, what's the size though of the pieces of dirt that you dig up compared to the size of the dirt they bring in? In other words, is it my impression of any time I've done hiking or camping and come across sediment, it's usually a very fine, you know, material when it dries out as opposed to dirt that I just find sitting in a non-trod area. So I'm very concerned about very small pieces of material which maybe don't hit a chromium level or an antium, which I've never heard of before, level. But again, you know, getting into people's lungs of it because it's very small particular size compared to the dirt that you're going to dig up still damp and wet that you go and move and drop, drop the same day on the, on the That's a great question. So we use uh, significant dust control measures at the site because we're not allowed to have dust flying in the air, just not allowed to have it. So we are constantly on the lined areas, we're using a recirculated treated water. On the unlined areas, we're using fresh water. And so um, the difference you know, I'm out there when it rain, I'm out there when it's whatever. It's, it's a dusty dirt that I'm digging up. And it's interesting when you look at, say, carving out mountains, the different colors of uh, the strats, stratospheres in those, um, in those hills that we're pulling down. But um, I understand what you're saying. This sediment is 31, 40 feet deep. It's, it's been compacted before, so it's not just fine little dust that's going around. It's, um, I've I've seen what we get, what we dig out every day when we clean out our sediment basins, and it's dirt, and it's, um, that's a interesting, we have an interesting soil around here anyway. I mean, when it runs, when it rains, it turns into this fine little mud, and it just, it's, it's amazing. But we have very aggressive dust control measures that come from place. Go. <clears throat> just to help clarify, you said that you expect about 23 tons a day uh, uh, 2,300 tons? Yeah. That's a lot of zeros. Mm -hmm. um, how many tons a day do you use for recovery? 
I'd have to go back and get it for them. That might help satisfy some of these numbers because on the one hand, you say, but you know, what if you shut down for a day or two because of wind or stuff, the trucks keep coming in, and now you've got a surplus, and now it begins to pile up. Is there a way to say, hey guys, you ain't taking any more in for a few days until we get oh, this absolutely. pile down? We, we, um, we'd have that ability to do that. Things we need to no, we'd have that ability to do that. I have two, two quick questions. In other words, you, you, they're not just figuring out, okay, load up trim trucks and send them to Sunshine Canyon. You folks are communicating with them how many trucks oh, you can this take is, per day. Right. This, is, this is at the very early stages of it. And, and so we've had limited interaction with the, the county. They said, hey, do you have a need? And we said, yeah, we could use the soil. Absolutely. It works for them. It works for us. Um, I like it because I'm not having to dig up my own hills because I have the reason I'm not as concerned. I know I've got three people in big massive machines for eight hours a day that do nothing but dig up dirt in these massive machines and take it one mile and put it by the working face. Um, and that's not, they're, they've got trucks that are come in from a certain period of time in the morning and then they're down, they're cut off. And they're coming one way to avoid the uh, traffic impacts. And uh, so that's, that's their preliminary plan. And so it still has to, they're still, the county is committed to whatever regulatory, because if this was, when this was first brought out, Sunshine Canyon wasn't even in the, in the mix. It wasn't a consideration. And then after they had run their first initial EIR, they said, you know what? We've since discovered that Sunshine could use the dirt. And so we're going to propose Sunshine. And so there's other steps that they've committed, whatever CCOR requires that they're going to do. And it's going to work its course. And I've been in multiple meetings with folks to, to talk through this. My heartburn is, as a council, we are preemptively saying, this is unhealthy, and we don't want it. And I don't think we have enough information to, to write that letter yet. My, my other question to you is, if you've done boring samples where you're scraping to um, I'll compare, the, compare, you compare the two? No, I don't think we have. It just might be an idea. That's it. Yeah, this is a question. So you're going to bring in this sediment. What's the truck traffic that you, you would be expecting? Ken, do you remember what way the truck traffic? Um, it's coming only at certain hours. Yeah, it's coming um, from 7 to 9 a.m. is what's happening at the reservoir itself. And so if you figure 20 minutes or half an hour.